All right, we're going to differentiate this function and again it's a quotient, so let's use the quotient rule. Let me write down the bottom function right here first. So that'll be denoted by g and we have 1 plus tangent and the input is t, all right? And then on the top we have the sine function, so let me write that down right here. Okay, let's go ahead, differentiate this. The derivative of 1 is just 0. The derivative of tangent t, what is it? secant square t, all right? So here, let's go ahead and write that down. And in fact, I have a video if you want to see how I remember all the derivatives, uh, go ahead and check that out. Link will be in the description for your convenience, all right? Okay, and then we have the derivative of sine is going to give us cosine t, all right? So that's the idea. Okay, y prime. Let's go ahead and square the bottom function, which is one plus tangent t and then again let's go ahead and square that and we do this times that and again two terms so we have to put this down in your parentheses like this and then right here we multiply by cosine t next we are going to minus this times that which is sine t times secant square t okay and let's see if there's anything that we can possibly do um, in fact, this is how we can do, okay? Right here we have tangent t. This tangent is the same as sine t over cosine t, right? So the truth is, when we do this times that, we first get cosine t. Let me just put that down right here for you guys. Next though, when we do cosine t times tangent t, cosine cosine cancel, so we just have the sine right here, all right? So we will just add sine t again cosine and cosine cancel that's how we get this sine t and then for this right here well i'm just going to write it down as how it is let's say minus sine t times secant square t yeah and then all divided by this which is one plus tangent t squared that's about it. The truth is, if you would like, you can also rewrite this as 1 over cosine squared, and you can write this in terms of tangent and uh, secant, but it doesn't reduce anything else. So I think this will be pretty good, right? So perhaps that's the only simplification now we could do, and we did that. That's it. So I'll box the answer right here, and I'll do it.